Hey, welcome back to another example using the table method to solve integrals in calculus. So we want to figure out what is the solution to this problem? Like what is the integral of this whole nasty thing? Um, when I first look at this, I see you know square roots of x's and multiple things on the top and bottom and some kind of polynomial function and it really stresses me out. Um, but I also know that Generally, if you have multiple terms on top of the fraction in the numerator and one single term in the bottom, then you can split it out into like, in this case, we have three terms on top. We can split this out into three separate expressions. So let's start with that and see what that kind of does for us. So the integrals is going to be equal to, uh, this is going to be equal to 5x squared over x root x dx. So that's one integral plus the integral of 4 root x over x root x plus um, that is also dx plus the r integral of 12 dx over um, x root x and maybe we can make that look a little bit more clean so already this is starting to look more manageable but we can definitely cross out some things here so we have x squared over x Let's for sure cross that out. And now we still have x over root x. So that's the same thing as um, 5x over root x. That's the same as 5x times x to the negative 1 half. And that's basically x to the power of 1 times x to the negative 1 half. This is equal to 5x to the 1 half. You just add those exponents, which is also equal to 5 root x however you want to write it i'm going to go with this form because i think it will be easiest for the operations that are coming so this is equal to the integral of 5x to the 1 half and actually this is a constant so we can bring the constant right outside of the integral sign always so we have five times the integral of x to the 1 half maybe let's even bring that in a little bit closer just like that dx okay plus we're going to bring out that constant as well four times the integral of let's cancel stuff out we have x root x root x like that um, so we're just left with 1 over x dx and then the last one we can bring out that 12 which is a constant times the integral this is basically 1 over x root x but again I'm going to write this in a form which so that it has an exponent so this is basically the same as this is the same as 1 over x times x and a half which is equal to 1 over x to the 3 halves through exponent rules when you just add the exponents. And when we have an exponent in the bottom, we can bring that up to the top. So we have x over negative 3 half on the top over 1. So let's write it like that. So at this point, if you know how to solve these already, then go for it. But if you don't know how to solve them right now, that's no problem. This is where we're going to use the table. So we're going to open up our table or formula sheet which is right here. And this is a link on Engineer for Free website. So you can go, I'll put a link actually in the description below where you can click and just open this right up on your computer. Or there's also a PDF version where you can download it and print it off if you want. But this is pretty typical of what you would get in like a formula sheet for an exam, uh, stuff like that. So we're looking here at the integral of x to the n dx and the integral of one over x dx table entry. So let's just copy these over onto our worksheet so we can see. So that was the integral of x to the n dx. This is equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And then also the integral of 1 over x on that table was just was dx. This is equal to ln of x plus c. And this one was also plus c, the arbitrary constant. So when we look here, this one has the form of the integral of x to the power of n dx. So we'll be, we'll be able to swap this out with n just being, in this case, 1 half. This guy here is the integral of 1 over x dx, so it has this form, so it's just going to turn out to be ln of x. And this one has the form also of x to the n, and in this case, n is going to be negative 3 halves, and so we're just going to take that into consideration in this term. So let's go through one at a time. We'll solve the first term first, so this is going to be 5 times x to the 1 half plus 1, is x to the 3 halves and this is going to be over 1 half plus 1 which is over 3 halves the next term is going to be 4 times 
this substitution, because we have the integral of 1 over dx, we have the integral of 1 over dx, so we can just substitute this whole thing. So this will be 4 times the ln of x. Technically, these each actually have a plus c as well, and I'll, I'll just write them now, and you'll see in a second that they're just going to go away. So that was plus 4 times ln of x plus c plus 12 times x, so in this case n is negative 3 halves plus 1 is going to be negative 1 half for that exponent, negative 1 half, and this will be over negative 1 half, because we're over n plus 1, and in this case n is negative 3 over 2. And this one is also plus c. But first talking about these arbitrary constants, this arbitrary constant and this one and this one are all just arbitrary unknown constants and three unknown numbers added together is just another unknown number so we can just lump them all into one which you'll see in the next step um, we'll just end up with one single unknown constant and when we divide by fractions it's the same as multiplying by their inverses here so we can do that so five times two that's just going to be ten over three times x to the three half plus 4 ln of x and this will be minus 24 x to the negative 1 half and then plus one single arbitrary constant and that is our actual solution for what is the integral of that initial expression that we were looking at up at the top there is another way to write this like if you go on wolfram and you type this in you're going to see a slightly different form, but you can just rearrange this through like several steps to get there if you want, but I think honestly this is good enough. If you did this, it would show your professor that, hey, at least you know that these, you know, how to simplify this a little bit and how to look up the table and find, you know, the appropriate table entries and, uh, you know, substitute in their solutions and then come up with something, you know, and lump all of the arbitrary constants into one. I think you'd be looking at, you know, full marks for that at any school basically that's testing you on your knowledge of using the table method.